What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews, coming back at you with another review. Looking at another part on the custom AR build, and other than turning my light on, today we're gonna be looking at the precision armament comp or break that I have on my rifle. So uh, when I bought my rifle, it came with just a standard A2 bird cage, and I wanted something a little different so went with the went with precision armament watched a lot of review videos and this is probably the best break that you can get for linear recoil um, and we'll look at that here we'll go over some of the numbers here in a minute but uh, this is the m470 m4-72 severe duty compensator from Precision Armament, and we'll just take a look at it here. So, you can see the cutouts there. Kind of your Barrett style cutout. That out and up. Uh, so, the M4-72, the reason I went with it is recoil reduction with this brake is about 75 percent for a 556 or 223 application so construction wise like if you look at the top here you see those grooves are kind of cut a little closer to the top yeah they're about the same so it has a closed bottom construction you can see there and then it has a upward biased venting so if you can imagine here this is the rifle shooting the bias is actually pushing the gases back and up just slightly uh, it's more of a backwards push but there is a slight upward angle to it uh, that's how they vent the gases and reduce the muzzle rise as well as dust signatures so obviously with a a2 sight or with an A2 bird cage as you're shooting it's just open the whole way around your gases are expelling every direction this year is focusing them back towards the shooter uh, I mean I put this brake on I went and put probably probably 50 60 rounds through the rifle and this thing shoots almost perfectly flat you know you're holding let me switch sides here so my light's not blocking it um, you're holding this rifle and the recoil is almost perfectly flat you know there's barely any muzzle rise to it at all um, on a 16 inch barrel let me correct that uh, they don't suggest going any shorter than a 14.5 barrel so if you have a pistol an AR pistol with anything shorter than a 14.5 they recommend not getting this just because of how it blows the gases back um, just to let you just to kind of give you an example I was out planking around set this down on a branch tight against a tree when I fired the shot it actually took the bark off the side of the tree and it just it shoots it right back at you you know if you hold this rifle this way out in front of you sideways and pull the trigger you're getting plastered those gases are coming right at you so the shorter barrels obviously brings it in closer to your body and it's going to bring it to the point where you're just you're getting hammered with those those expelled gases that's their recommendation obviously you can do whatever you please it's your rifle but i can understand their warning um, now they have a couple options for the m4-72 severe duty or super duty brake so obviously this is the 223556 version they also have a 308762 version now that will work with anything from a 243 up so your 65 your 308 winchester your 300 win mag 30-06 and up to a 338 lapua magnum couple others in between there and it they might have some more higher that it will work with now they also have it available in an AK-47 
14 by one left hand thread. So the obviously the 762 being the AK's um, caliber, if you buy this for the 308, it's not going to fit an AK-47 because you do need that left-handed thread, that 14 by one. So keep that in mind if, you, if you're interested in getting something like that for your AK. I know AK guys are weird, but I think it looks pretty sweet on the, M or on the M4, the ARs. Uh, now you can get it in two different colors. So color-wise, I have the matte black. You can also get it in a matte stainless. And price on this is $89.99. So you're looking at about a $90 break, but for the performance that it gives you, dropping that recoil by, like I said, 75, up to 75% and making it linear. If you're doing any kind of long range or target shooting, uh, three gun, anything like that, you know, this is definitely a good comp or a good break to put on to make sure you, you stay accurate the entire time. So that is the M4-72 severe, severe duty compensator from Precision Armament. Uh, the link in the description below for their webpage to, so you guys can pick yourself up one of these comps. That's all I got for you here today, guys. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what comps you're running. Um, I was looking at the Surefire uh, war comps before I decided on this. You know, if you got one, tell me how you like it. I was looking at the blast cans. Obviously, this thing's too long to put a blast can, can on. If I decide to go with a shorter barrel down the road, turn it into a pistol or an SBR, then maybe a blast can might be in range for it. But tell me what you're running. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you like the content you're getting from me. Don't forget to hit the notification icon so you're notified anytime we drop a new video. This week and possibly next week, most of the videos are going to be on this thing right here, my AR build. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. Later.